If you teach a subject that uses a lot of back-of-the-chapter homework problems, you may be wondering about the difference between traditional online homework products and adaptive learning products. For one vendor's take, here's McGraw-Hill's answer to that question. I think it's stepping back from the homework problem being the whole state of work. And what I mean by that is, yes, I could assign some number of algebra problems, but as a student, I may have forgotten how to factor. It's not enough to get it right or wrong. I mean, that's interesting, but not sufficient. What's much more sufficient is when I'm doing my homework at night in that household for an hour, and I may or may not have parents who are engaged in helping me succeed, most likely not. The adaptive system can say, oh, Stevens forgot how to factor. And therefore, let's back off of this homework problem and let's take you back on your learning pathway to this other content and other problems to solve because it turns out you're not ready for this one. And so if you only have an hour or half an hour to study, I don't want you to try and fail. Well, I sort of do, but when you're not getting it, I don't want you to feel like a failure. I want you to try and not get it and now go learn and practice something else. So that in that half hour, maybe you'll never get to that first problem you try to do but you'll have learned, gained mastery in areas where you were deficient. So that half hour of studying was productive, point one. Point two, to Matt's point then, as Stephen's teacher, when Stephen's walking in that next morning, Matt as my teacher will see, oh, Stephen got stuck on factoring. It's great that he tried. I can see where he's getting stuck and I can call Stephen out with three other students who got stuck on factoring. Take a five minute, three to one instruction moment and get them back on gear. Very different than end of chapter questions, even if they're auto-graded. Yeah.